Okay, today's topic is discounted cash flow. We'll be talking a little bit about uh, what discounted cash flow is, go over a little bit of a background. So this is kind of a basic, think of it as a basic tutorial. And we'll look at um, how you can use some tools like uh, the DCF calculator for iPhone. And so we'll do a little demonstration of how that works and uh, how it's a, a handy little tool to estimate the value of of, an, of any asset. So let's let's jump in and talk a little bit about uh, discounted cash flow um, as, a, as a backgrounder. Basically, um, discounted cash flow is a method of valuing any asset. Okay, so by definition, an asset is, is something that produces cash, right? So, um, you know, it doesn't matter what that asset is. Um, it will, if it produces cash, it's going to have some kind of value for it. Now, if you've ever, if you've ever looked at an investment, like maybe an investment in a real estate, like uh, you know, an apartment building, or you've looked at buying a stock, which is you know, fractional ownership of a company, whether it's a public company or a private company, um, you may have wondered and asked yourself, gee, does this, does this asset that I'm looking to purchase, kind of have, what, what is it worth? right and a lot of times people think of uh, the worth of, of an asset as well what did what did someone pay for it yesterday you know someone paid for this apartment building last year they paid X you know or maybe in two years they, they might pay Y right well it turns out that actually it doesn't really matter um, all those things uh, what the what what someone might have paid for the asset what really matters is how much cash will that asset produce over its lifetime. Okay, that's the, really the only thing that matters when it comes to valuing that asset. And, and that valuation, or that, that property really means that there's, there's what people call an intrinsic value, okay, to that asset. That has nothing to do with the outside world so much, uh, you know, whether what, what people will pay for that asset. It's really, what does that asset, you know, how much cash will it generate? Okay, so it doesn't matter, you know, it could be a stock, it could be a bond, it could be a real estate investment, it could be any kind of asset, it doesn't really matter. Discounted cash flow is a method that we can utilize to determine and, and find out what the intrinsic value of that asset is. So getting in, into it a little deeper, um, Discounted cash flow is basically a three-step process. Okay, so in the first step, we t we project um, the free cash that the asset will produce over its lifetime. Okay, so we met, we mentioned that already. So that's kind of step one, and here that's a very kind of specific definition in terms of free cash, which we won't get into in too much detail, other than to say that free cash is really the cash that's left over. You know, after the after you've taken care of maintenance of the asset itself. Okay, so that's what we mean by free cash. Step two is to discount that free cash at an appropriate rate, okay? Really what we're doing here is we are, uh, we, we lessen the magnitude of the cash over time because as we project out into the future, there's, we have less and less confidence that, you know, of our own accuracy in our projection and so, you know, we need to diminish the value of the cash that's, you know, uh, accrued to uh, the intrinsic value of this asset that's produced out far out in the future. Step three, we add up all those discounted cash flows, okay? And once we've done that, it, we arrive at a single number. And that number, you know, in a monetary value sense, is, is the intrinsic value of, of the asset, okay? So let's look at an example to look at this, maybe get a, a little bit more concrete idea of what we're talking about. Let's, as an example, let's say that we're going, we're looking at buying a small business, okay? Maybe this is a small business in our town. And um, this small business, um, uh, we're looking at, you know, purchasing this as an investment. And so here we have a graph and on the x-axis, our, is time or the years, you know, projected out to 2041, 
So it's 30 years on our graph. And on the y-axis, we have dollars. So let's, let's imagine that it's 2012. And we look back at the previous year, and we see that in 2011, this small business generated $10,000 in free cash flow. Okay, so our step one is to project out from that point how much uh, will the small business generate going forward. And so that's what we've done here in the blue bars. Okay, so, and we've, we've done that, we split it apart into two stages. And stage one is the first 10 years, and stage two is everything after that. Okay, so in stage one, we're saying, or we're estimating that our small, this small business will generate free cash flow that grows at about an 8% compound annual growth rate, CAGR, okay? And then in stage two, it, we project at, at 3%, okay? And really, 3% is really what, if, what inflation is. So we're really saying there's not real growth after the first 10 years, okay? So uh, those are the blue bars, okay? That's free cash flow. Now, what we do then is we go to step two and we discount uh, those, those free cash flows. And in this case, we're discounting them at a rate of 5%. And those are, that's represented by the white bars. Okay, So we can see that the white bars are quite a bit less than the blue bars. And they grow up um, during the first 10 years to about, they peak at around $12,000. And after that, going out into the future, they really... Never, never rise above that. In fact, they, they, they continuously shrink from that point. Okay, now that's a good thing because, you know, really in truth, our small business, you know, is not gonna grow forever like, we, like the blue bars, right? It's not, its value is not infinite. It's not, you know, when we make our, you know, this asset as a small business, it's not gonna become the next, you know, Goldman Sachs. It has a finite size and that's, you know, when we when we project these you know these cash flows out, you know they should really they should really uh, uh, be a reasonable number and they should shrink over time. So when we add up all the yellow bars, right, that's going to tell us what the intrinsic value of the small business is. And in this case, when we add those all up, it comes out to about seven hundred forty thousand dollars. Okay, so now we have kind of an estimate of the value of, of, of this small business. And if, if, this, if the owner of this business today is selling the business and, you know, they come to us and say, look, I'll sell this business to you for a million dollars, you know, we know, well, you know, we probably, that's, that price is probably a little too rich. On the other hand, if they come to us and they say, well, you know, I'm really tired of running this business. I really would like to sell it. Um, I'll sell it to you for $400,000. Right, um, then we know we might have a good deal here, right? We know that there's, you know, we could we could buy this business for less than what it's actually worth. Uh, so that's kind of discounted cash flow in a nutshell. And it, if you'd like to know more, uh, you can visit www.dcfmethod.com, and you can see um, you can connect to. Uh, DCF calculator, how you can download that. There's also some helpful primers on dcfmethod.com that go into more depth on how you select the discount rate. And there's some very practical examples of valuing companies. So it uses, for example, True Religion and goes through a valuation example. It's very detailed about how you might value True Religion, which is a, uh, a high-end brand uh, retailer. So take a look at www.dcfmethod.com for, for more details and more depth on discounted cash flow. And let's let's take a look at a little demo and show you uh, DCF Calculator. Um, and here we have DCF Calculator. I'm running on an iPhone. And DCF Calculator is really just a very quick and easy way for us to estimate the value of any asset using the discounted cash flow method like we've just talked about. Okay, so um, here we have a, our view of, of DCF calculator running on the iPhone. We have the display screen here which shows us the intrinsic value that we're calculating. 
Right now it's zero, but we're going to enter in some figures and, and uh, we'll get an intrinsic value. Um, so let's take our, our example here and use that um, that we just looked at. So in our first year that we were looking at, our small business generated $10,000. So we'll, we'll plug that in. And that's the free cash flow in our first year, as you recall. And from there we have um, the growth rates. So this kind of cash flow calculator actually allows me to project that free cash flow into in the two stages we talked about, right? The first 10 years and then beyond that. And so we said in the first 10 years we were going to grow at about an 8% CAGR. And then in the second stage we were at 3%, so I'm not going to change that. And then the discount rate was 5%, right? And there you go. We come up with our $740,000 intrinsic value for this business, right? So very quick and easy. And in just a couple seconds, um, I have, you know, an estimate of the value of, of this asset. So very easy to use, you know, very quick. Now, if I rotate the device on its side, I get a nice, uh, a nice table that shows me, gives me a little more information and detail about um, the actual projected values of the cash flows. So First of all, it shows me the inputs that I used, right, into the um, into the discounted cash flow equation. And then it gives me a table that shows me the projected cash flows, right? So here's our free cash flow. Uh, we started at $10,000, and DCF calculator just automatically, you know, projects that value out for 10 years at 8%, right? And that's what it looks like. So in year 10, it's up to about $20,000. And then it shows us, you know, there's a stage one and stage two. Stage two is $20,000. Um, and that's that's the total value at 3% uh, for the for our free cash flow. Then on the second row, we have what those free cash flows are when they're discounted at 5%, right? So if you go out to year five, you know, $13,000 five years from now is worth about $10,000, assuming a 5% discount rate. That's all that means, right? So you remember we, we projected out and, and the figure never really got over about $12,000 and we see that here, things really kind of peak out at about $12,200, right, in year 10. So, and then in the last row here, we accumulate these, these discounted cash flow values to get us um, in year, uh, in the first 10 years, $108,000 worth of value and uh, in the second stage, the second stage produces about $632,000 of value for a total of $740,000 of intrinsic value, or we also can call that net present value, right? So there we have an example. It shows us um, this, the DCF calculator. Um, one other nice little feature of DCF calculator is it's per share mode. Right now that's off, but if I turn it on, I can enter in the number of shares. So. This is nice if I'm looking at um, like a stock, right? And I want to estimate you know, what the intrinsic value might be. If I put in the number of shares that are outstanding for that stock, it gives me uh, the intrinsic value uh, as, uh, on a per share basis, right? So in this case, turn works out to about $30 a share, right? So if this was a company that I was looking at and it was selling say on the New York Stock Exchange today for $10 a share, you know, I could go out and buy that um, and, you know, knowing that I was getting, you know, I was basic, basically paying, you know, 30 cents uh, for a dollar bill, you know, that I'm, I'm getting a real bargain. So that's kind of DCF calculator in a nutshell, very quick and easy to use. Uh, DCF calculator is available in uh, Apple's uh, App Store, and you can access it from there. You can search on DCF calculator. Um, you can also simply just go to iTunes.com slash app slash DCF calculator, and you'll arrive at the DCF calculator homepage, and you can uh, install or download the app. Um, it's free, and uh, it runs on the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPad.